Hello Yellow Jacket fans, this is Longest Day and we're going to get right on into uh, Wake Forest versus Georgia Tech 2017. Alright, i um, going to start this thing off and we're going to go through this play and let you see what it is. Just a pass play right there. So we'll come back. Alright, so pass blocking. Uh, well, first of all, let's look what the defense is doing. Uh, they're kind of in the Taco Bell defense everybody talks about um, but they are shifted this way a little bit to the um, to the to this side of the field uh, you watch the motion right here you can watch the safeties roll over rolling over good um, it looks like it's going to be either triple option or something over here we do have this pulling guard which could pull people over in this direction so you can see they're definitely reading the guards as keys uh, good pass blocking right here uh, definitely need to get rid of this this guy's gonna come from the back side but we'll get rid of it in plenty of time now you'll see what will happen in the future they they're gonna start dropping people back in that area and come close to picking it off but we'll get this next play right here a little different we haven't seen this a whole lot where you have one split out wide receiver and one uh, wide receiver kinda tucked in tight here go ahead and watch this play let you see it through all right, so this is just a, a, a dive play. We'll go ahead and look at some of the blocking. Straight up, straight up. This guy's supposed to come in right here. Take this guy. Now this guy right here gets him pretty early. You can see where he comes from. We do, uh, you know, we do hit him, but he he's kind of gets by his block. Benson does a great job right there. You know, he's pretty much hit at the line of scrimmage. But Benson pushes pushes hard with his legs right there, keeps off the ground, ends up turning into a four-yard gain. That was an excellent play by Benson. All right, next play, moving on through. We'll see it on through, let you see it. Move my cursor out of the way. Another pass play, and we'll get to see almost an interception right there. He actually does tip the ball. Ball's flying, a nice spiral. He tips it right there. And it actually ends up not being a spiral when he catches it. So what, what happens here? So they end up picking, he picks this out pretty good. He's, you know, he's not moving in hard. He reads, pass, and he starts heading right here, right where um, normally the wide receiver would come back to. See him right there? So he's set up for an interception. Almost, almost ends up intercepting it. So passing, pass blocking. So let's look. Does you know we do get a lot of time here? Uh, plenty of time to make a pass. All right, we're going to, have to be careful of that. All right. Next play. Let you watch it through. Another pass play, and you can see the same thing happens. We're not going to go through it all the way. Watch this. Watch this guy right here. You see how he backs up? You know, uh, he's on the outside, backs up right there, right where that pass would be if he comes back. But we don't pass it. We actually make the make four yards instead. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to pick up. Let's look real quick. I'm trying not to make you sick. <laughs> Going back and forward. Oh, plenty of time to pass. Nothing else to really see. All right. Next play. Moving on through. Next play right here. Again, it's tight set right here. But the split out wide receiver on this side. Nothing really to talk about on defense. Let you see the play through. Little rocket toss. Decent blocking. No, nope, some decent yards. So let's we'll see all the blocking. Uh, it's going to this side. Block right here, block right here. You can see both of these two guys taking both of these guys out. Pretty decent job right there. We got another block to make. Block downfield. Someone blocking on the back side. Never quit. And uh, we, I, you know, I think we actually make a first down there, but we're not probably right on it. But we were short about a half a yard, I think, right there. But not too bad. Third and one. 
uh, let you see we're in the same tight set over here again let you see the play all the way through it's just a QB follow there's no read it's not you know we're not not reading anybody on this uh, basically you'll see head up head up so Lee uh, does a great job right here coming right here you're gonna take this linebacker out that opens up right here he's gonna hit one of these guys Marshall's got to get through. Good first down. Just a QB follow. Next play, just a rocket toss. Some decent blocking. Some great running by Cray Cersei. I'm glad he didn't hurt Brad Stewart there. Sure hope he didn't. Let's go through it again. Let's see where the blocking happens. Move it out. This Try to get your, your shoulder on the, try to get him on your inside. If you can get him on the inside, that's great. But he ends up slowing him down. We got Brad Stewart right here coming in, making a good block here. Make a block right there. Lee's going to come out and try to block. Boy, well, he does. He blocks right there. Nice little crease. You can see Brad blocking all the way through. Does a great job. Let's go at the last minute and make sure he doesn't get the flag. All right. Second and one. Looking pretty good. All right, anything? We got the tight set on this side and wide receiver split out here. All right, that looks. I'll look at it again. I remember watching this. I can tell you what happened here, why, why, why it falls down. But okay, so this is a dive. This is a straight dive. I'm gonna call it call it like I see it. This is a dive. Um, you can see right here we got block, block, two head on blocks. This guy's gonna go down. Put him on his outside shoulder. If he goes on the outside, you shouldn't need to block him. Um, but this right here slows him down. You see this right here? His hand is stuck. It's not his hand. His glove gets trapped between the ball and his stomach. <laughs> and he can't pull his hand out. And I remember watching it back up on the screen when I was at the game. You can see right here he's putting his glove back on. <laughs> his, his hand got trapped. Couldn't pull his hand out. Um, so blocking wise, it looks really good. There's, there's nothing really to complain about. Uh, if it, if he could have hit a little faster, he would have been right by this guy and probably could have been a couple more yards downfield, um, than he was. Good play. Next play. Let's see here. Normal setup. Nothing really to talk about. And there we go. A triple option. We're at a Great triple option. Great blocking by everybody. We're, we're, <laughs> tell you what, it's really humming. So I'm not sure what happens the rest of this quarter. But this is really, really humming. Okay, so these are your two option guys. Let's see what happens. Perfect. This is your Mike linebacker you want to get. First option guy goes for the B-back. You can see he takes him. Great read. Uh, Marshall does a great job charging the next guy. you got to charge him, make him commit, make him turn his shoulders to you. Then you pitch it out. Great pitch. Now you're wide open. Got a block right here to make. This guy actually gets back up and runs well to the play. Otherwise, this might have been a touchdown. All right, there. You can see this guy right here. Takes him. Shoulders. He's looking right at him. It's perfect. This is your Mike linebacker. Mike linebacker doesn't get taken out, but he gets pushed to the inside. He's scraping down to stop the dive. And if you go down and inside, you're not going to make the pitch. All right. So we'll watch this. What is this going to be? This is going to be a rocket toss. And it doesn't go very far. Um, so why does it go very far? Well, that's really about blocking. We do make that block here where the wide receiver, right here, he, he makes his block. Good job there. We're not quite making our block here. This guy rolls off of it and can run right down the line. Same thing right here. You can see right here, rolls down the line, and then you know we're actually cutting up here. If he's headed full blast to the outside, he may make the corner, but it's not going to make the corner there because he has to change direction. It's a it's a difficult call. All right, you got to make the blocks. Second goal. Um, double tight set. Let's see what happens here. It's like a. Uh, Basically, a, a, a power option right here. This guy's just going to block. We'll watch it all the way through. You can see 
You just uh, don't charge and make them pitch the ball. All right, so what's going on? So Brad's going to take his guy. Does a great job there. That guy takes his guy. we got Quay Cersei right here. He's trying to find the right person to block. I don't think it's supposed to be that guy. I mean, I, I could be wrong here. This is a linebacker, linebacker. Um, I, I would think this would be the power options guy. He would be there. You can see they're both together. He should be more out here, taking one of these guys. This is your option person right here. And what happens is we start running down the line right here. You know, go, go ahead and charge right at him. Because his shoulders right here are saying, I have they back. It's not until there. It's not until you charge him that you get it. So you charge at him, go to the inside, force him to turn inside. If he doesn't turn inside, then you got it. But when you're going down the line, all it is is going to stretch the play out. But if he charges, he pitches it, there's a pretty good chance this could go for a touchdown. Third and goal. All right. Okay, so eye in the sky. This is not calling anybody out or say anything just trying to describe what's what's on the play and i tell you what our players are doing terrific so again none of this is to kind of point anything out about our players it's uh just kind of going over the place and <laughs> seeing what i see all right next play let you see it all the way through a little passing play right here and we end up getting hit right here it's hard to see on tv i saw it at the game uh, this guy uh, pretty much took brett out so pass interference um, definitely need to throw the ball because uh, <laughs> this little little kind of stunt right here uh, took us for a loop. All right, next play. All right, so this is bread and butter. You know, this is up the middle once or twice, at least once, to see if we can power our way in. Um, we'll see what we actually do here. So one thing to notice is, you know, we're overloaded on this side. You see that? So it's going to be a QB follow. So it's kind of like a power, but I'm not sure exactly what happens. I know we missed a couple of blocks, and we end up just losing a couple of yards versus just heading straight up on in there. So what happened? Let's see what happens on the blocks. Got someone on the inside there, straight up and a straight up right there. We'll get a block right here. This guy right here is coming. You got um, Benson right there. He gets in between Benson and Siobhan. So and then that, that gets him to the QB right here. So that gets him to this guy right here. He's beating his block as well. We're doing very good right here. And there's no one to really block that guy. That's the guy Benson's supposed to block. So, um, you know, where is the track for this supposed to be? On his inside hip, I mean, if if you look right here, if no, nope, there's just nowhere to go. We're just if you look, we're just not winning the line of scrimmage right here. If you notice, we're just not winning. Everything's behind the line of scrimmage. Just didn't block. So that's that was probably we're hitting all the right guys. So we were you know executing the right blocks. We just couldn't execute the blocks themselves. Next play, a little further back makes it. A little harder. We'll watch it all the way through. It says, nope, don't do that. And I think there's a timeout called right here. Yeah, let's go back. All right. Looks like it's going to be the same play. And it looks like a triple option. So let's go through. Triple option, these two guys right here are your option guys. So we'll see what happens with the blocking right here. This guy's going in. You can see right here, this guy's going in. And he's trying to get by him. He's going back here. So this guy goes in, takes to be back. Perfect read. So now Marshall has it. So that's going good. This guy is uh, supposed to go out and hit one of these guys or, or one of the backside. And so this guy is also supposed to get through. He's not supposed to block either of these two. But he ends up blocking right here. Um, and when he does, when he, when he blocks this guy right here, he's blocking the pitch man. It's also getting away of this guy right here, making him go out more outside. So there's <laughs> this guy ends up coming in to get to the QB, and this ends up being the pitch guy, right? Now, if you if you block the right people and make this guy the pitch guy, he's going to probably end up 
pitching it out. If we get this block, which we don't quite get it, you know, but we do get him off his feet, we, we, we could be in the end zone. So it's, it's, I think it's basically we're supposed to be blocking out here, not, not the guy that, that we're going to pitch on. All right, third and goal. Pass play, double tight set, little rocket toss, fake rocket toss. Not a lot of time. If there was some time, let's see who's coming free. This guy could be free right here, but there's no way he's going to be able to look at him. I think he sees these two guys running at him. There's nothing he can do but run out to the outside. I know he's pointing right here, but no one can really see. He's telling this guy to go block, possibly. If this guy goes block, if, if he goes to block, then it could be that he could just run on in. But we don't. This is also a dangerous throw right here. I mean, you're throwing into a lot of people right there. Not, not a good throw. Um, difficult situation. Fourth and goal, field goal. So that was a lot of plays. That was six plays in the red zone. So definitely got to work on the red zone. Get it to the next series. Um, next series is not a touchdown. Let's go ahead and go through it. Um, Let's see what happens. Let you watch it all the way through. Little speed option. Little spin move. So it's kind of a fun, fun play to see. So let's watch what happens. We got some motion here. Uh, motion is causing the safeties really to take a step in the wrong direction. So safeties are keen in back here. Uh, we got a pulling guard so that's going to bring all your linebackers this way because that's what they're keen on. Great seal on that guy. Is it the right guy? Yep. O'Brien takes his guy to the ground. Awesome. Great job. Um, <laughs> I'll try not to say um anymore. This should be your pitch guy right here. He's way to the outside. My linebacker runs way to the outside. Um, so Marshall just cuts it up inside. This little move right there. Excellent job. Good. You know, this, this could have been a fumble. But Marshall's really hanging on the ball. You see that hand come around to the outside right there? Hit on the ball. Marshall has it high and tight. Doesn't go anywhere. Excellent job. Next play. Watch it all the way through. All right. I believe it was a triple option, but we'll look at it again. Yeah, it's a triple option. Triple option. Do you see your option keys? Let's watch what happens. This guy goes outside. Actually... He kind of goes inside, too. They're both going inside. Both reads are going inside. But look, we give it to him anyways. And, uh, you know, bad read. <laughs> these, both these guys are so delayed right here that Benson gets through. A, it's a massive hole. There's a big hole right here. This is a giant hole. And that is leaving a... You know, you would think these two guys could fill it, but they're not. And it could be because... Yeah, it's just too big of a hole. Excellent job right there by everybody getting to somebody. Incredible. Look at the blocking downfield by Lee. Excellent. Could it, you know, one more, you know, beat that block, push him down, gets around his feet. Excellent run. This is, this is so worthy of a touchdown uh, run. Great play so far. Let's see here. Another, is that a triple option? Let's see here. Another triple option, turn, both guys go outside, so this is perfect. This is definitely a give. The last one didn't look like it should have been a give. It did make the yards, but you can look right here. Definitely, definitely a give. Both guys go outside. Again, the Mike linebacker scraping down, and he's trying to help, help out right there, and he does, but not until we make five, yard, five or six yards. Pretty good run. Second and four. All right. Got this tight set right on this side. Wide receiver split out on the other side. Go ahead and see this through. Again, this is a triple option. Triple option, these two are your, your, your guys you're going to read off of right here. So let's see what happens here. Return. You see, he's unblocked, unblocked. So what this should be is a pull and pitch. 
pull and pitch. And if you look, if you pull and pitch quick enough, there is, this is going to be an awesome, could be a touchdown. The problem is this happens just so quick. And Marshall just doesn't take a chance. This guy is just too close. He keeps it. Now, later in the game, he makes that pitch. If you look, if we make that block right there, well, I don't think, even though this guy gets around, I think that we would have been far enough on the outside that we could have, we could have beat him. We still could have beat him. Third down, third and four. What have we got? All right. I have no clue why this happens. Let you see this play through, a little fake rocket toss. We're going to run it back. You know, how often do you see the backside linebacker come across the line on a rocket toss like that? On almost anything. You know, maybe he's supposed to come across whenever he turns this way. But he is just doing this perfect. It's like he knows the play. Um, now, a lot of times they'll go this way or come inside a little bit. Hardly ever do they come straight through the back there to stop them. I'll keep an eye out on the back side and see if um, this is a normal thing right there. Fourth and seven. So people say, why does it feel? Field goal range for our kicker is about the 25. So guys, if we're not on the 25 or if it's not like the last play of the game, you're probably not going to see a whole lot of extra field goals. Now, that assumes um, that the field goal that he did kick had his normal range. Because, I mean, it, it did go through the uprights, but it wasn't, wasn't going to go, you know, much further than, um, than what he kicked it. So that's why we're going for it. I mean, you can have a short kick. Maybe you can save, you know, 20 yards. But Paul would rather go for it. We'll see what happens. Pass blocking. Guy gets through, eats our lunch. So, got to get rid of the ball, but it's too late. All right. How does this work? Got two guys blocking one guy. He goes this way, comes on the inside. This is really difficult with the splits that we have. All right. Let's get to that next series. It's right before half. It's a passing series. We're going to go ahead and go through to halftime and uh, watch some of the offensive series on, on that side of the ball. All right. Let's see here. Uh, nope. Let's get to the second quarter. Third down. First down. Oh, missed it. First and ten. All right. Anything we want to look at? Defense, same thing. They're a little bit skewed to this side. Let's go ahead and let you see the play. It's just a dive play. Excellent excellent running QB uh, by Benson. All right. So you want to see the blocking? Head up. Those guard goes on the inside. Perfect. Let's see what Divine does. Divine is, you know, he's not launching out. Uh, now, Benson is reading the track right because Divine goes to the inside, hits. So he has to go to this side of the hip. So that's perfect. So it ends up being a pretty decent block. Just, just develops a little slower. But great yards. All right. Next one right here. Let's see what happens. All right. So let's look at the blocking. Another uh, dive. Head up block, head up block. That's the way it's supposed to be. Supposed to win the line of scrimmage. Doing all right. We this backside guy right here. You know, he we're just not able to cut him a hundred percent. So he gets through and ends up getting a hold of his waist on his back. Not only that, we do have this guy right here in the lane. So Anything else I can tell you? You're supposed to go on the, the leverage of, of his hip. So it looks like he's trying to get him on the inside, and that's why he's going through here. But he's not able to make him go that 100%. We end up making, what, two and a half yards? So it's third down and one. Let you see his play all the way through. Just another dive. All right. This is another straight dive. Blocking. Let's see what happens here. They both take him out on the backside. No, usually they go by him, but since this is a first down play, they go ahead and both take him out. 
looks like we're going to both take these two guys out. We're going to cut this guy. And we're just going to get enough to make the first down. That's all we want. First down. All right. You can see the play all the way through. This is a triple option. Excellent job. All right. Option guys, here, here, right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's supposed to go through and hit this guy. And I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, we do hit the right guy. Perhaps he's just kind of, this is really far back for a linebacker, by the way. Normally they're a lot closer than right here. This is the lane where we're usually blocking that Mike linebacker. So possibly that's what's going on. But it ends up working real good because this is the pitch guy. The pitch guy is on the outside. So we're just going to turn it up. That's exactly what we're supposed to do. We turn it up and make a decent yardage. All right, next play. Let you see it all the way through. Little counter trap. Doesn't work that great. I wanted to run a counter trap. Why doesn't it work great? Let's see what the blocking is. Blocking, blocking. Guy stunting on the inside. Um, supposed to pull right here. And normally we pull and hit this guy. Um, but we hit this guy. This, this is the guy who's kind of ruining this. Without this, you know, we could have that crease right here all the way, you know, depending on what this guy was able to do for a touchdown. So what's going on? This guy right here ends up, we're just going by him, and we just can't get to him, can't cut him. He, he needs to be chipped a little bit more. Yep, this can't cut him on the backside. He's really far away. This is a long ways to go for um for a will. And if it's supposed to be divine, normally on a trap you pull and you push out, so it can't be his job. Um, I want to say in this case we're really supposed to block him here and depend on this guy right here to block on it on the inside. So definitely, just you know, we didn't. The right person did not get to this person right here, is what happened. All right, let's keep on going. I'm sure you're anxious to see what else happens. Next play. You got one, two, three, four, five man front. Right there. So this is just a dive. So we'll see here. Um, got a, you know, great block by Divine right there. Hits this guy. He's going to go out to hit this guy, so that's perfect. It's all looking good. You're supposed to go to the leverage side of the of this guy's hip. It looks like he's blocking out, so he's supposed to go to the inside. That's perfect. Um, I think what happens right here is on the back side, trying to get to this guy. You know, we do a good chip, but we don't get underneath this guy, and not getting underneath him allows him to get to um, Carvante. Plus, I do believe this guy ends up actually getting to the other side of Divine. But it ends up being a first down. All right. Every play can't be a touchdown, right? Let's see here. Excellent. Great run. So what was it supposed to be? This is a, just a... A dive. So let's just double check. If this was a triple option, there's a four man line. This these two guys would be your pitch. <laughs> so that's really odd. So we go down. This guy is not going to the B back. So if he's not going to the B back, you're supposed to give. Um it really seems like this side is very open to the triple option. I don't know why you would say, you know, triple option every time to something like this on this side. So let's see what happens. It's a nice give. And run to that side every time. The ball really comes out there at the end. What makes the ball come out? It's kind of hard to tell. Looks like the ground does. So ground can't cause a fumble. All right. Next play. Now we're running back to the stronger side. So let's see what happens. Another dive play. 
great job. You know, this is like, um, you know, I just, this looks, okay, this is not a, a Benson or a Howard thing. I'm not into that. I think Benson is incredible. And I don't know if this is Howard or if it's Benson, but when we get in red zone, I'm used to seeing a whole lot of this. And it's just it's basically just dive. And gosh, everybody hits the right people here. Looks really good. And Howard just just jumps on through. Look at that. Great, great run. And you can tell he has really got both hands on the ball. I mean, he is protecting that ball. I'm not sure what happened in practice. I'm not sure if he fumbled in practice or what was happening in practice, but um, definitely had two hands on that ball. Let's see what happens here. Just another dive, same thing. We're just winning the line of scrimmage, I, I do believe. Let's see here. You know, and, and it's going fast. This guy right here actually doesn't get blocked very well. In fact, you got to be careful. We're going to end up, you know, hitting him from the backside and getting a, a penalty called on us. But I don't know what's going on. Ben, um, Howard hits the hole pretty good. He gets his arms on him, but he just can't stop him because of his momentum. Ends up making a, a good good couple of yards there. And then last but not least, so let's see what happens. So let's see if we can see. I think it shows it from the back side. Let's see if we can talk it through from the back side. Come on, one more. I think there's one more view. Right there it is. So two guys right there. One guy right there. They both get get a piece of somebody. And look, he's just going through. <laughs> look at this. This is great. He chips him, gives Parker Brown enough time to get to him, crawls on his <laughs> and still gets this last guy and makes sure we get the touchdown. Excellent play. All right, let's keep on going. I'm sure you want to see if you don't want to watch anymore, you don't have to. That's all right. You don't have to watch all 40 minutes. I am trying to go faster, to get a little faster pace so people don't fall asleep when they watch. Um, don't watch in your car. It'd be awful. All right. Hmm. What do we want to watch next? Let's go ahead and... Um, Let's get to the second half. Let's get through to the second half. There we are. Brad's going to catch the ball. This is where we turn it open. It's going to go a little faster. <laughs> um, our drives aren't as long. You know, one of the things that, you know, just need more breakaway, make breakaway drives. We have a lot of death marches. And maybe Paul's calling it that way because the defense is doing so well. Our offense is on the field for so long. Let's see here. Let you watch this play all the way through. All right, excellent job. It's a touchdown. We'll go back and, and see how this play develops. So we can see the safeties right here. They're keying in right here, so it really makes it play calling. You know what you need to do. So when you have pooling guards, these guys are going to come to the outside. We have some great blocks right here. Perfect right there. And see, Will is supposed to get to this guy. Or, I'm sorry, Parker. And he does. He gets the right guy. That next guy is supposed to be right here. See, does he push him like he talks about? He's riding his hip. He's a little faster. He cuts him. And when he does, he does a good good job too because this guy could be going on the outside. And right here, he's just waiting, buying his time. This guy commits to the inside. So we go to the outside. And we just, we just beat him. We beat him on the outside. Um, blocking. Blocking wins games. Let them go at the right time. It's just perfect. Just fast enough. Just can't get them. Great blocking by Quay Cersei just by being there. Great run. All right. Let's keep on going. I was at the game. Like, hey, I was a little depressed at halftime. I was, you know, our team was playing good, but yet we weren't making those touchdowns. And uh, on defense, I was like, gosh, where, where's our defense at? You know, three drives, three touchdowns. What's going on? Um, but they came back. Let's go ahead and watch this next. We don't want to watch this one. Let's get through it. We'll get to the very next one. All right. Kick off. 
you want to watch LSU, you don't watch that. Anymore. Okay, here we go. Let you watch this play all the way through. Looks like a triple option. So let's see if it is. If it is, these two guys are your reads, and they're not blocked. This guy goes to the outside. They're both going outside, so it's a give read. Um, since they're both going outside, this guy is scraping down. And we're not quite able to get to him right there. You can see that we got an arm pulled, <laughs> pulls him down. So he's not quite able to, to get out there to get to that guy. But that's all right. Vince does a good job of trying to dodge him and getting through. Let's see here. Yep. Excellent job. Next play. Let you watch it all the way through. It's a straight up dive. Straight up dive. Let's see who's winning, who's losing. I'm supposed to cut this guy on the backside. Need to chip him though, because it's a it's a far way to go. We really got to be careful. Got yeah, straight up block. You're supposed to go on the inside hip. It looks like his hips kind of go into the outside. There's not a really good clear which way his hip is going. You would you would think he'd try to block him out. But he, he can't get him to where he wants to go. And so he's trying to go in where his hip is, but he kind of runs into him. Nowhere really to go there. Two yards. Third and three is not too bad. All right, let's watch this play all the way through. This is a beautiful play. Remember that play where he had to do the quick pitch, but he didn't make it? He does it this time. So you got your two guys right here. These are two option guys. Let's see what happens. He, he, this guy does perfect. He comes through. Lee comes through and gets um, gets that Mike linebacker right there. This guy comes in, takes the B back, so you pull it. And look how, how fast this happens. It's pull, pitch. Pull, pitch. That's how fast it has to be. And you have to be ready for it. Anytime you see this lineup, you got to be ready for that pull, pitch. Great job. Now, you say, well, what about this block, Carl? Well, he slows him down, makes him go to the inside right there, and he's just fast enough to get it to the outside. Great blocking, lets him go at the last minute. Great run. I love it. Uh, good job on the catch on that pitch, too, because that was, you know, a lot of times you're not expecting it that fast, but um, you need to have that mindset if you're going to see five people on the, on the line. Next play. Just straight up dive. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. Oh, man. Um, let's see here. You know, this is definitely the stronger side. You can see what they're doing is they leave a gap over here on the strong side. And then they fill the gap on the weak side. So that's one of the reasons why I guess they're calling a dive right there. Uh, this guy goes to the outside. We block that guy. It was supposed to chip him he's going on the outside and uh, let's see just slow him down enough to give it give the ball good block there good block there some more person to beat great run Benson doing a great job let's see here next play let you walk watch it all the way through another dive play and everybody wasn't gotten on that play I do believe it was another dive play. It looks like dive to me. So let's see here, right here. Chipping that guy down. Looks like they're both going for this guy, but he, he releases and goes for that one. And this guy's the one. He we don't we don't get him. Um you know, part of it is this is the dancing. You see that right there? This is what Paul's talking about. So he'll uh He's, he needs to be running full blast when he hits the line. And see how he stops right there? He's trying to bounce it outside. And actually, that little hesitation, he could have gotten a few more yards right here and hit this really hard and could have got about three three yards. A little bit more than, well, I guess he does get about three yards. What am I complaining about? He gets about two. Maybe he could have picked up one or two more if he if he hits the hole a little, little harder and with momentum pushes this way. And it's that one little step right there. That's what he. That's what he's talking about. Go ahead and hit the hole, and and push the pile forward. Let's see. Was Paul happy when he sent someone in? I can't tell. 
This one. Are we behind? Are we ahead yet? Yeah, we're behind. He is not happy. So <laughs> let's go ahead and see this next play. Oh, man. The thing of beauty. I love this play. Oh, let's go back and look at it again. So triple option right. So who we option off? This guy is so far back. Um, this is the weak side that we've been talking about. Um, we turn right here. So this guy is supposed to be unblocked. And a lot of times what will happen is we, uh, you know, guy delays. I would say you go ahead and give it and you get your two or three yards. What ends up happening is this guy right here, his, the way he's lined up and what he's doing is kind of beating our block. So I'm glad he didn't give because this we're not winning the blocks on the inside. Now, um, we don't give it right there. Uh, Marshall doesn't give it for whatever reason. This guy, even though he's delayed, he's going to go, you know, between the two of them, they stop him for minimal gain. So go ahead and go to the next one. You see your pitch guy. Marshall does great. He turns it up. You see the shoulders? The shoulders say, I got this guy. So Marshall's going to charge him, charges him. Right there, this guy is too far to the inside, even though his shoulders, his shoulders right now are pointing right through here, through the middle. And he's too far to the inside. We go ahead and make the pitch. Good pitch right here. This guy is supposed to turn him back inside, but it doesn't matter because we're just going to be a little too quick for that block or that tackle right there. Great job. Got one more. Oh, love it. Touchdown. All right. This is too fun. There's too many good drives. We're not going to stop. You want, you're going to want to see the rest of this show. It turns out very well. So we're finally ahead. GT. I, you know, I might, you know, go through the uh, defense for this game and not on a defense by def defense play. I'm just going to go through and look at the defensive plays uh, to look at for disguises, uh, the types of rushes we do, and, uh, you know, what we do with the defensive backs. Not, not something that uh, Ivy Ballin does on, you know, the in-depth look, but just kind of the, the things that I think are making the defense work better um, that I see uh, this year. Even press coverages. A lot of times uh, our memory plays tricks on us. You go back and look at it. Because I know I had some thoughts about the game. When I went back and looked at it again and again and again, I was like, well, no. There's some <laughs> it's, it's not what I thought it was. All right. Next play. Dive. That's all that is. And that's what Paul does when you know hit that hole don't dance let's see what happens gonna block block he's supposed to run through he's supposed to go on this guy's hips uh, really hard because his hips are straight up he's gonna go on the inside of it right there does a great job looking for that hole and just uses his mom momentum right there his legs to push on through make some great yards second and five Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's see here. This is a triple option. Actually, these two guys are going to be optioned off right here. This guy is on the inside. But, you know, I don't know why. He is definitely delayed. He's not going to the outside. His shoulders are a little bit straightforward. That's probably what he's reading is his shoulders. And so he goes ahead and he hands it off because of where his shoulders are. And you can see his shoulders are, are, are here, not pointing at the be back. So it's definitely a give right here. You make a block right here. It's exactly what's supposed to happen. Block right there. Excellent. Um, if we could have got, if we could have got on this guy right here, right through here, that would have been beautiful. All right, third and one. another dive so straight up straight up there's no one there to stop him I love it first down all right let's see here little rocket toss it's got to run you know right here he did a great job you know at one point in the game he kind of sees it and he slows down here he just kind of tries to keep his momentum, and he ends up making a lot more yards than you think. Does a great job. 
great blocking. Four yards. Tight set. Remember, we've seen this a lot tonight. Uh, tight on this side, but the wide receiver still out on that side. Let's see what happens. Just a dive. I don't think there's a triple option in this. No, there's not. It's just a straight dive. Some blocking. I don't really see anybody do anything wrong. You know, we could have cracked back this guy a little bit. Just kind of taking him on the inside. Um, yeah. Not so sure on that play. I'm not sure exactly what's supposed to happen. But it does look like a, a dive. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. So again, if it is triple option, better be able to pitch it quick. So let's see what happens here. Third and two. Just a QB keeper. Great job. Big hole right there to go through. Uh, see if this guy fills it. Doesn't matter because we have plenty of blockers. We have more blockers than we have um, people. But we make it. Next play. Another dive. No, no, it's a triple option. I'll let you watch it all the way through. Great, quick pitch. Okay, so why didn't he go for more? Let's see what happens here. You know, who is this guy supposed to, you know, who's supposed to be, these two are supposed to be the option people, I do believe. Um, yeah, this guy gets blocked. So it can't be this guy. Usually it's be, you know, these two people. So let's see here. He's not blocked, so he's definitely not blocked. Um, it's hard to tell. His track looks to be a little off. Uh, he's going for the quarterback, so he pitches it. And, and that's why. It, it's because it's either a, a misread and you're supposed to give it right here. Um, but it really wouldn't matter because it's def well defended. Um, these two guys go on the inside. Yeah. All right. That's that's a tough one to call. Who's supposed to block who? Um, we're going to keep on going, though. We're going to stay on it. A little power right there. A little power option. So we you fake to the B back. Sweet. So everybody's blocking right here. Fake to the B back. B back is your sure make makes an extra block. You can see right here, this is supposed to be your option guy. Your option guy is taking the um, A back. So that's this is perfect. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. He hits his guy. That's the power that's the B back. Hits his hits his guy. Great job. Make some decent yards. All right. Next play. QB sneak. Whew. Why does that make it? I mean, he really, this this guy right here, see what happens. Divine's got a hold of him. Looks like Marshall's got a hold of him. Looks like two guys are on Marshall. But we push him back. Is that just Marshall pushing <laughs> at their legs? I mean, excellent job right there. Another dive. Doesn't go very far. What happens? So you get a block right here. Block. It looks like it should go pretty good. You know, we leave this guy unblocked. This guy right here. We're not able to stop him. The, the A back should be getting this guy right here. And he's there to make the play. I was like, gosh, you know, Benson was looking tired in this game. Um, you know, whether it's Quaid or, or Howard, you know, give Benson a rest, but um, he was a trooper. He really kept going, did well. Triple option. Awesome play. Safety got there. Okay, so safety's from the backside. It's a long ways to go. How did he get there so quick? So see how fast he's going? He's getting there so quick. This might be why Paul runs that reverse. Because look how, I mean, so quick. And look at this guy on the back side. So, remember last time he comes straight through? This time he's just kind of 
you know, could could have Marshall had made around the outside. Just very interesting. Uh, <laughs> seemed like that guy knew the play. So let's see what happens here. So this guy's going to go in, take the V-back. Great. This guy comes up, make the pitch. The Mike linebacker is busted. That's great. Everything's perfect. Um, we're going to make a switch hit right here. You're going to come in and take this safety. You're going to have this guy come out, take this guy, so it's all perfect. There's no one to block this guy. <laughs> we just have to get there quick, quickly. And, you know, you know, part of me wonders, we stop. We see him, and we stop. Just go to the outside. I'm not sure what would have happened. We just would have went to the outside versus stopping. Um, that's the second time I've seen someone stop. There's the push in the back. So we want to go back and see what the penalty was on this, this one right here. We'll go look back here and look real quick. Um, let's see here. Marshall's right here. You see that? Marshall's right there. This guy just pushes him down in the back. So that's what the penalty was for. Next play, we'll take it. Mm, unbalanced side right here, you see that right there? Let's see what's gonna happen. This is another uh, trap play. Excellent job and a touchdown, I love it. Good trap play. Let's see what happens. Why does it work so well? Good block there. Divine's gonna pull out. He's gonna come through. He follows the blocks. And everybody's thinking it on the outside. This guy gets creamed. Excellent. Just an excellent play. Good job. All right. We got one more touchdown to look at. Everybody wants to see that touchdown, don't you? Got one more touchdown. All right. Reverse. So remember what remember what happened here? You see this guy leaving home. This guy's gonna leave home. <laughs> so that leaves the backside wide open. This guy is coming down the line. See him coming down the line, not going through. And this is a pretty hard pitch to make. Makes a great pitch. I thought he was gonna catch him. Ricky June doesn't stop. He keeps running. Excellent. Hope he wouldn't get hurt there. We'll see if we can see anything on the back side. All right. All right, so we go to another trap play. Doesn't work as well. Why doesn't this one work as well? I don't know. So, you know, we're supposed to hit the tight end, which is this guy right here. This guy should be blocked, and he's un unblocked. So I, I think we have a, um, you know, maybe he's thinking this is guy is a uh, linebacker because he's standing up. But normally what happens, he's going to block him, and this guy is going to be um, the guy you're, you're going to get around. Normally it's a defensive end, so you're going to treat him as a defensive end, I guess. Which is very interesting how they have this set up. Anyways, he shouldn't be unblocked. This guy is the guy who comes in and actually makes the tackle. Yeah. I'm not gonna try to unravel that knot. I don't I don't know enough <laughs> to unravel that knot. Alright. Looks like a triple option. So what happens? These are your two option guys. They both go to the outside, so it's a definite give. So we give, right here's your... This guy has gotten... So Divine should go through and take somebody else. And, and he actually does. He kind of wants to chip that guy and take the next guy. But it ends up being this guy who makes the block. Right here. And I think what's supposed to be happening is Divine should shoot out and hit him. All right, next play. Still make three yards. There's nothing wrong with three yards. A little pass play. 
the flag. Let's see here. Okay, by the way, I didn't go through it. We did have a couple of, at least one that I know of, false starts that weren't called. So there was one, at least on us. And I know there's a few on them. I know no one wants to hear that, but I did see one on us that they didn't call. So let's see who it was. Yep, that was definitely, and he stands up. But I would say that's within the same amount of movement that Wake Forest was doing. So, all right, so what was this? Triple option. Both these two guys go to the outside. Again, this guy comes in and he makes a tackle again. What's going on is Will has responsibility for him on the outside. And I do believe Divine is supposed to get him on the inside with the way these guys are lined up. And you know, right here, Cooper's supposed to take him out. Probably my guess. But one other thing, you know, you could do is run behind his hip. <sighs> Got to fix that. Fourth and ten. It's too far, guys. I know you want to punt or, or kick your field goal. It's just it's it's too far. So gonna be a pass. Throw it. Don't quite get it. All right. We got one more play. Go ahead and do that last play. Everybody will see the last last touchdown. Okay. Let's give you follow. Not very much. Wind it down. Little rocket toss. A lot of missed blocks. <laughs> Not good at all. Is Brad all right? What happens here to Brad? He just kind of rolls and hits and. Oof, these guys are getting beat up. Third and four. Little QB follow. I mean, we got six yards. We're really on a little bit behind the chains, but for a bad block, let's go ahead and see what happens. So, call timeout. Next play, let you see it all the way through. Little counter QB play. So what happened here? So we got the, you know, it looks like it could be a counter trap, suck people on the inside, get your two pulling people, which normally brings, you know, your linebackers, both your linebackers this way. Let's see here. Parker, great job, takes the right guy out. Right here you got um, Lee going to take his guy forward. Uh, Will is doing an awesome job there. Sloan taking his guy down. We're off to the races. Right here, great block. Got in front of him. Another great block. Let's him go at just the right time. Great feet work. Look at Brad. Man, our team is just a team. All right, that's it. Um, really enjoyed this game. Uh, got back at 3 o'clock in the morning. Had to go work at 7 o'clock, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Um, hope you enjoyed going through as much as I did. All right. Uh, we'll go through uh, uh, Clemson next week. I'll see you guys later.